Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another full face one brand. I will get into it a little later because it's not technically like a full face one brand today, um, but I'm gonna consider it. So I hope you guys all really enjoy this like vampy Lolita look, and let's go ahead and get started. You guys have no idea how excited I am to bring you guys another full face one brand. Now, everything here is actually from babegem.com, and there are actually a lot of different brands from the website, so I'm still gonna consider this a full face one brand. And today I have a lot of like Korean-esque type makeup and I'm really excited because some of you guys have been requesting like more like K-beauty inspired looks. So I'm gonna give you guys like a rundown of some of the products that I got here. So I got two makeup palettes and I have um, one that's all matte and then some that have more nudes and then some shimmers and they look really bomb. Um, I already tried this out, but I tried both of the lipsticks that I got. And um, this one is just like more of like a nude, a nude pink. I don't know. It's hard to explain this type of color. More terracotta, I would say. And then I got something more on the red version, and the only reason why I got this one was because it was a Toki Doki collaboration. And this one is more of like that brownish red, and it looks really, really pretty. Both of these formulas are pretty much the same. They're that velvet liquid formula. Really pretty, really nice. This is called a highlighter, but it has no shimmer at all. So I'm gonna use this as a bronzer or contour. I have a little blush here and then finally a concealer and then a brow pencil. If I have um, any other items that I need to complete a full face, I'll just reach into my collection. Simple as that. First things first, we're gonna go in with a Kaja primer. Now this one is the Blur Drop Primer. This is a silicone based primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and focus this into the center of my face. I believe this primer is on my project pan list for this year, but I haven't really been using it if I'm being quite honest. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of silicone primers as much anymore for some odd reason. Unless it's my Touch and Soul one, then, you know, we give her the benefit of the doubt. Now, I've looked through all my foundations and tell me why this is the only one that matches me. It's literally the only one that I've been wearing, like, recently and it's my Tarte foundation. It's the face tape in the shade light medium sand. A lot of the other foundations that are in my collection, they match the tone of my skin, but they're the wrong undertone. Like some of them are more neutral. Some of them look a little orange on me and it's really rare. I don't know if it's just that my foundations are getting old or something like that, but this one just stays true to me. And this is only one pump of foundation. Very nice. Look at how well it covers the skin. Super nice. I don't know why it looks whiter on camera, but it definitely matches me in person. I don't know. It's also uh, nighttime right now, so I am using all artificial lighting, so maybe that's why. The day that I'm filming this today is the day before my birthday. It's April 7th. And I'm feeling really good. I have had like a really good day today. I did vlog my entire day, so um, I, it should have already been on my channel by now, but I'm just having a really great day so far. And just sitting down, playing with makeup, doing a full face, taking pictures of it, honestly, it makes me feel really good because I'm a firm believer in when you look good, you feel good. And definitely, this is what I need. I need this right now. Wow, I am looking really pale. What the heck? Why does my camera make me look like that? Anyway, we're gonna fix it up. It's fine. We're gonna do the Clapo Claps Concealer. This one is the Correction Liquid Concealer in the shade number two. And I only chose this one because it seemed to be the only one with a yellow undertone. So I decided why not try it. And while we are here, we're going to go ahead and correct and warm the skin up a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of this foundation stick. This is the ColourPop foundation stick. This is Dark 165N. And I'm just going to add a little bit, a little bit around the perimeter of my skin. I don't have any inspiration for today's look, so I'm not trying to look like any specific idol or anything. I'm just doing what I depict as Korean beauty. I'm going to blend out this bronzer first, this foundation, just to give a little bit of warmth to my skin. 
I hope everyone is doing okay. I feel like when it comes to spring, everybody is like blooming as far as their mental health is concerned. And I definitely feel that way. I love the springtime. It just makes me feel like I can conquer anything. And that is so important to me. I spoke with my therapist about it. I said, you know what? Seasonal depression out the door. Here we are in spring and Honestly, I think that this is the time where people like to thrive and definitely once we get into those summer months Then you know, I know everybody is going to feel like themselves again and be a little bit more motivated too There you have it just a little bit of warmth on my skin nothing crazy and then I'm just gonna take um, the other side of my sponge the clean side and then I'm going to blend out this concealer. Yes, ma'am. I've been trying to not wear foundation these past couple of days just so my skin can breathe. Well, in general, in quarantine, I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation. But more importantly, for my birthday tomorrow, April 8th, I definitely want my skin to look pristine, super clear, no redness, and... You know what, this one pimple, she needs to go. I'm sick of her. This concealer reminds me of the She Glam concealer that I bought recently. Like, oddly really similar. I wonder if it came from the same manufacturer. But you know what, little goes a long way. As you see, my under eyes are getting super, super bright. I like the way that looks. It looks really, really good. And then I'm just going to take some of that concealer onto the eyelid area just to prep it a little bit for some eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and finish my face because I feel like I look really scary. So I'm going to go in with this highlighter. This is the Twinkle Star Highlighter from Clap O' Claps. And this is the shade Coffee Worky. Coffee Worky. Oh my god. This is a really cool tone shade, but I'm going to make it work. You know me. Yup. Okay. Let's go for it. Just tap off a little bit. And I'm going to put this right on top of that bronzer that we applied. Just to see. Oh, it looks pretty good. I think mixed in together, it definitely gives me more of that neutral, neutral contour, which is good. If I didn't put that uh, ColourPop stick, I'm pretty sure it would have been like super cool tone, which I wouldn't have been a fan of, but you know, Looking at it now, it looks pretty good. And let's also try and like snatch this nose. I don't think I want to go into a different brush. I'm going to take the tip of this brush, dip it in, tap off, and then contour like so. Oh my God, my nose is really snatched. Ooh. I'm going to take some of my Shiseido powder foundation and I'm just going to run this along the sides of my nose just to give it an extra type of contour on the side yes Ooh, my sister came home i could tell she's screaming she's screaming and sounding like a cat now the reason why i chose this blush this is the same brand clap oh claps and this one is the halo ombre blush in the shade hara and i really like this ombre it's like more of a berry toned and you know what? I don't have a shade like this in my collection. I thought, you know what? Let's try something new um, because I always feel like when I try a new brand, I always grab the same shades that are already in my collection and I'm never wowed enough. So hopefully we're wowed by this. I'm tapping it on just in case. I'm bringing it pretty high up on the cheekbone as opposed to bringing it down. I've noticed that a lot of um, Korean style has like the blushes pretty high up like this so we're gonna keep it like that that's actually not that bad it's not bad this contour is throwing me off I'm gonna tell you that much but it's not bad these powders are really nice it's like barely any fallout but you do get a lot on the brush which is nice my eyes are watering from my sneezes because of allergies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Makeup Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. And I think this is a newer release. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it and then I'm going to fan my face off so I could dry my tears as well. 
but you know what I didn't set my under eyes and my under eyes look really good it like dried down completely it's not cakey whatsoever but it looks really good and really bright um, so I'm liking the formula so far but I just feel like I need to see the whole face finish before I make my final verdict because I feel like I look really weird with just my base on. There was a lot of the Clapo Claps brand. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I have the uh, Precision Angle Perfect Eyebrow Pencil and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. Typically I am a dark brown in pencils. So if you're ever wondering, that's normally the color. I feel like sometimes ebony is too dark for me, especially because I'm so pale. Um, and here we go. She's a little dry, so I'm having to really press down hard on my eyebrow to really get that pigment. I like how the tip is like a really small triangle. I think that's really unique and cool. Really does help give that precision. Damn, this is really hard. I'm definitely filling in my brows, don't get me wrong, but it's taking me a little longer than normal to get my desired brow. Hmm, we might have a dud, our first dud. Okay, well, that's okay, that's fine. I'm gonna still do my other eyebrow, but I'm definitely gonna fix this up with some other product because um, I don't necessarily love the way that my brows are looking. As much as I love how thin this brow pencil is and the shape of it, I wish the formula was different. I really do. Ugh. That breaks my heart. It really does. I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Brow Powder Duo and I'm just going to use the lighter shade in here just to create some fake brow hairs and to make the color match my hair a little bit better. What sucks is that I have a lot of brow hairs, like I grow out my brows really fast, but the thing is is that like my hairs are so sparse that uh, you really have to fill these girls in. You know what's been on my mind? This is a crazy thought, but pre-COVID and bowling, I know everybody has been talking about it, but like I've really been thinking about it. Bowling's disgusting. I don't know, man. I'm always the type of person who like always has to like wash my hands. So, you know, the whole hand sanitizer thing, the whole wet wipe thing, that's that has already been implemented in my routine as is, but when I really think about it, I'm like, oh my god, we were really so nasty. Bowling? Are you kidding me? And think about it, there are people who have birthday parties at bowling alleys and their little kids eat those little french fries and chicken nuggets and then they stick their little nasty greasy fingers into the bowling ball like, oh my, oh my god. I'm going to be interchanging these two palettes. Now these ones are by the brand Hold Live and both of these palettes are from the Red Velvet Honey Eyeshadow Palette Collection. This one is the uh, style 604, this one is 605. So this one has all mattes and this one has mattes and shimmer. So I'm just going to start off with uh, this little beige color as a base. Just dusting that all over the eyelid just to prep it for the other colors. Now I'm going to take this middle shade here. It's definitely like one of those mattes with like random pieces of glitter. And I'm going to drag this all over my eyelid and into the crease. Just going to pat that on the lid like this. And then in back and forth motions, we're just going to blend this out. I don't have any inspiration for today's look. I'm just like slapping on color, to be quite honest with you. Honestly, for this video, for the eyeshadow portion at least, I'm just gonna talk and do my shadows at the same time. So last night, um, I found out what my grandpa did. Now, I grew up without any grandpas, so my parents escaped from Cambodia to America from the Khmer Rouge. 
And if you guys don't know that, I highly encourage that you look it up. It's pretty much just um, a genocide. <laughs> I laugh because it's like really awkward for me, you know what I mean? Um, but I found out what my grandpas did. Now, I feel like when it comes to my parents' past, they don't really talk about it because it's a traumatic experience and my parents were really young when it happened so I don't really get to hear much about it but last night my dad was talking about his dad and what his dad did in the war and I almost cried last night because it was like damn I'm gonna turn 23 and I just found out what my grandpa did in the war and it's like so crazy to me because for some weird reason, like I've always felt like this connection with my grandpas, but I never knew why. And um, I found out that he was a doctor, one of the top 10 doctors in Cambodia at the time. And he took the medicine that he had and he tried to help people uh, get better in the war who, um, who pretty much like were on like the brink of death and he was so willing to help them and when it was time for my parents to come to america um you know they were going to get on a plane and everything like that and my dad he had told my grandpa you know why don't you come with us like let's go to america you know let's escape the war and he said you know i'm a doctor and i need to um help these people because once the war is over, they need me. And it was like such a selfless thing. And I've always wondered where I got like my selflessness from because I'm always someone who tries to give back. And I think it was definitely ingrained. Like my parents taught me to not be selfish and I'm pretty sure they learned that from him. And I don't really know much about like my other grandpa, like on my mom's side at all. Um, but every single time we have these talks and discussions about the war, it feels so, so crazy because it wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't. And it's always such a heavy topic and I commend my parents so much for not only like being willing to talk to me about it, but also just how strong they are for immigrating to America and just fighting for a successful life and it really makes me proud of my culture i know it seems like a really weird topic to bring up like super randomly right but you know i feel like i should have brought it up sooner especially because i go through it all the time and i did make a video you know talking about like my hatred for racism and you know, I hope that with my channel, you're able to learn about like my culture and um, and to just have like an open mind about it because I know that there are a lot that I don't know, but my parents have witnessed everything firsthand. And, you know, if it means, you know, talk, having those deep discussions to share it with you all, then I'm more than happy with that because I think education is such a huge thing and that's something that's been highly encouraged in my family is to just get educated and I feel like if everybody is educated then there would be less hate, there would be less racism. And I know a lot of the times, you know, I tell you guys, you know, when I encounter anybody who's racist to me, normally I just like laugh it off and everything, but ultimately, you know, when I think about it, no one really knows where Cambodia is even located. Nobody even knows the history of Cambodia. And nobody knows why we have so much pride. It's just because of what our parents went through, you know? Like, they were able to overcome a war. And, you know, we're here trying to live on the legacy of people who unfortunately didn't make it out the war, like my grandpa. I'm just using the brand new Shop Missé uh, eyeliner pencil to just draw my eyeliner. I'm using the eyeliner that I got from Shein, that She Glam eyeliner. 
I've been really liking this. Ever since I filmed that video, I haven't been able to put this eyeliner down. So, I might need to buy more. Remember when I said K-Beauty? I don't even... You know what? I'm just never going to say what I'm envisioning for the looks because it never, it never really turns out the way I want it. So, um, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. I do have to say some of the inspiration for today's look is definitely inspired by TikTok because I don't know who it is because I, I don't follow her, but I saw a video of this girl and she put red lipstick under her eyes and it looked phenomenal. It looked so good. And so I said, oh, maybe I want to try that. And I did. And I think I kind of look really cute. Honestly, not to toot my own horn, but I look really cute. One wing is bigger than the other. Jasmine, yeah. Oh my god. So I went ahead and applied some lashes off camera because honestly I didn't know what lashes to wear. So I decided to apply the West Coast Lash Bar Lashes in the style Sacramento. These are a woman-owned, Asian-owned brand, and I really, really love it. Now, finally, we're just down to the lips. I think everything is coming together smoothly. Now, I'm going to layer these two lipsticks first, like I mentioned. So I'm going to go in with like the Nude Red first, this one called the Fluffy Matte Lip Gloss, and this is by Joyce Yi, and this one is in the shade uh, V05, and then we have the Tokidoki Lipstick, and this is the Tokidoki X Color Key, and this one is um, in the shade R632. Oh my god, it is looking so cute. Look at it. Oh, I look like a cute little vampy Lolita doll. It looks so cute. Now, the last couple of things that I have from Babe Gem are these accessories. So I'm just going to take off these earrings that I have on here. These ones are by Idle Hour. And this one is from my girl Kavina. If you guys want to get some of these earrings and match me, you guys can check out Idle Hour on Etsy. Now I'm just going to apply these cute butterfly earrings. Oh my gosh, these look so, so cute. Look at these. <gasps> these are so precious. Oh my gosh. Yes, give it to me. <gasps> cute, 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 cute. I'm going to take off my headband and we're literally going to see the full effect. And then I have the, oh my God, I have this cute little heart ring. Oh, so precious. Okay, let's find a finger for it to fit on. Cute. It is so cute. Dare I wear it tomorrow for my birthday? Dare I? All right, everyone, that completes today's video. Hope you guys all really enjoy. Now, honestly, through and through, I think everything worked in my favor aside from the brow pencil, which, you know, I was bound to have something that I didn't completely love. As far as the eyeshadow palette is concerned, they were really good, really pigmented. They did have fallout, but I don't really care about fallout. As long as there's pigment and as long as it blends in, I'm here for it. The lipsticks, I think, are one of my favorites because I love that velvety texture. And I also am kind of digging like the blush and bronzer a little bit. Um, the the blush and highlighter, I should say. Um, it's definitely something that I need to get used to as far as color on my cheeks, but I mean, formula-wise, it's really good. I just think I need to use it a little bit more to gain a better opinion on them. Um, and honestly, everything through and through, I really like it, and I hope you guys do too. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.